what's good? What's good, everybody? It's your boy. It's your friend. Ross TN back here in the building. I know I've been gone for a while, y'all, but I've just been busy with some stuff. But hey, listen, if y'all want me to keep making some videos, hey, I, I ain't doing this for free no more. Y'all gonna have to start liking them videos. Y'all gonna have to start sharing them videos. You dig? Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. But yeah, y'all, since I'm back, uh, there's something I wanted to talk about today. Now, um, for today's topic, I want to talk about the destruction of masculinity. That's what I want to talk about today. And I, I just, I got to know, what is it with you dudes today to whereas y'all feel like you just you just can't be a man. I often ask myself that question, right? Now, part of the blame I put on the women, but I also put on the dudes too, right? Now, let me get on the dudes. Start with y'all first. See, a lot of you guys allow yourself to be emasculated. The reason is, is because you're so desperate for female attention. You're too afraid to be a man and actually um, take control like you're rightfully supposed to. As men, we are born leaders. That's why, and I know some people will say, oh, you're a misogynist. Oh, you're sexist for saying this. But listen, men are more logical and women are more emotional. This is a fact. Now, do you have dudes out there that are emotional like these females yes but those are just a small number most men are logical okay and you're afraid of being logical with these women because you're afraid of getting on their bad side and and it might ruin your chances with uh getting sex right to be a man you have to be definitive and decisive men we are born leaders it says this even in the Bible, okay? There's so many quotes that, that state that as a man, you are supposed to be a leader, okay? I mean, as, I mean, as a man, you are the head, not the tail, okay? It's not about being controlling. There's a difference between being uh, a dictator and being a leader. A dictator monitors you all the time, tells you how to think, how to feel, love, piss shit. You know what I'm saying? Doing everything that they want you to do. They want you to be robotic. To whereas a leader guides, okay? A leader cares about the people who they're guiding and instructing. They're keeping them out of harm's way by telling them, hey, look, we should do it this way because this is the most practical way to do it, right? That's the that's difference. And as a man, don't let nobody tell you, you can't be no fucking leader. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to get on the women right now. I'm going to tell you why the women are to blame as well. Because women, you guys, look, not all of you, but there are some women out there, some women, who really want to try to be equal to a man. See, that's the thing. You got a lot of women out there. You think you could be the uh, the man and the woman in a relationship and that a man is supposed to just be obedient to you. No, that's not the way how it goes. A man is a leader, okay? Because by you being so much of an emotional being, you're not fit to, to lead a man. 
okay? And and I know, I know, I know y'all gonna y'all gonna call me, oh, it's toxic masculinity. And I'ma tell y'all, you know, screw you. Because ain't no such thing as toxic masculinity. It's just masculinity. Because there are a lot of messed up stuff females do, and we don't say that's toxic uh, femininity. So shut the fuck up. Now, in addition to that, a lot of you women, you want to, you, you, you know, especially, especially women who are feminists, you talk about how bad male patriarchy is, right? Not realizing that you benefit from it more than you realize. I mean, let's just look at it. When you call the police, you ain't specifically asking for females, you're asking for police in general. Okay, a system which was built by male patriarchy. When you look at a man, right, you look at him as the protector. You know why? Because when somebody break in the house, guess who you tap on the shoulder to wake up at night and tell to go check it out? It's a man, right? So with that being said, you have to accept, you, you have to, you have to accept and respect a man's masculinity. You have to let a man be a man. Don't think you can come and try to change him and control him. Because the same stuff you say he's doing to you, you're actually trying to do to him. I'm seeing too much of this. I'm seeing, I'm, uh, and, and it angers me because I'm seeing too many men walk around castrated, afraid to say how they really feel because they're afraid of being looked at as a misogynist because they're afraid of being called toxic um, men because they're afraid that, that people are going to cancel them. I'm getting sick and tired of that shit. I don't, and, and people, and people want to sit up there and sit up, they, they want to say shit like, oh, well, um, it's 2021. What are you living in the stone age? But, bitch, I don't give a fuck if it's 3852. There's some things that just shouldn't change. And one of these things is a man's masculinity, especially when we talk about the, the uh, the feminization of Black American men. I mean, one of my best friends, he's Vietnamese American. He said that when he looked at the Black man, he looked at uh, the epitome of manhood, but he felt disappointed when he saw that they're putting Black men in dresses and putting on makeup and, and pushing um, homosexuality so much onto young black boys. And <clears throat> it's, it's a shame because you, you know, the only way you could be accepted as a man is if you just act feminine. And even then, when you get in touch with your feminine inside, uh, your, your femininity and, and your feminine side, uh, Those same women who are trying to change you into the man they think you should be, they ain't even gonna want you. That same woman who wants you to be obedient to her, she ain't gonna respect you. She ain't gonna stay with you. And if she do stay with you, guess what? She's gonna be porking with another man. That's exactly what she's gonna be doing. She's gonna be porking with a real dude, the dude who really turns her on. And that's a and that's a problem, I, you know. Uh, I believe Sarah Garvey. Shout out to him. He said it best when he said that when it comes to feminists, they are creating men that they don't even want. And I see this today. Even if you're not a feminist, if, if you're a, a super liberal woman, and you got um, feminist. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? If you if you got um, feminist uh, viewpoints. Yeah, you're still a part of the problem. Emasculating these men. Thinking that 
you can do the same thing that, that we can do. Thinking that you can have a balance between femininity and masculinity. No. And I've explained this in one of my other videos. As men, we don't want no fucking masculine ass uh, woman. The balance comes from where a man is is the masculine one and the, and the female is the feminine one. That's all the masculinity you need. Because guess what? You ain't gonna want no man who, who, who has a balance of femininity and masculinity because if he's doing that, he's gonna be doing shit like wanting to wear your pants, put on your lipstick. And you're not gonna be attracted to that. So please, my message is, before I go, women, please let a man be a man. Stop trying to uh, look at men through the way you look at women and acknowledge that we are different. We are not the same. Stop trying to make us more feminine and allow us to be masculine. Men, grab your freaking nuts, okay? Don't be afraid of being a man, okay? Because there are, because, because if you see where the women in your culture ain't trying to let you be a man, you see to where um, they trying to control you, okay, well, there, there are, there's always other countries you can go to and find a woman who's traditional all the way in. Find a woman who don't mind serving you because by definition, that's what, a, that's what it means. In, in old English, a woman means female servant. Go look it up. Now, that being said, everybody, it's been real. And uh, been fun talking with y'all, but I got a jet. So I leave you in the words of love, peace, and coconut grease. I will holla at you.